Thank you for joining us today as we share the benefits of the Data Integrity Monitoring Program. By the end of this presentation, you will have more knowledge of what the program is and what it does for you as a cardholder. Let's get started. MasterCard places great importance on the accuracy and integrity of transaction data that flows through MasterCard's network. The Data Integrity Monitoring Program reviews the data that was submitted by various institutions to ensure its accuracy. As a cardholder, Data Integrity Monitoring looks to ensure that your transaction has the most accurate data that allows your institution to make an appropriate decision on whether to approve or decline your transaction. Let's go over some case scenarios to help you understand the importance of the Data Integrity Monitoring Program and how it helps your bank to provide accurate transaction data. It will also provide you, as a cardholder, the steps that a transaction flows through and the checks that MasterCard has in place to ensure the data being transmitted is accurate. Fred is reading over his credit card statement and notices a transaction that he does not recognize. What's this charge for $127.53? I don't remember using my credit card at a place called JFS. I wonder if someone may have gotten a hold of my credit card number and made a purchase on my card. I need to call my MasterCard bank right away. Thank you for calling Bank of MasterCard. How can I help you today? Good afternoon. I was going over my credit card statement and noticed a charge for $127.53 to a place called JFS. I have no idea who this is. I've never shopped at a place by this name. I also confirmed that my wife didn't use her card there. I know this is not my charge. What can I do about it? I can understand your frustration. What I'm going to do is open a dispute on this charge since you said you didn't make this purchase. Is there anything else we can do for you today? No, thank you. Hopefully you'll find out if someone has used my card without my approval. We will investigate the matter and let you know if we determine anything. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, thank you. Have a nice day. Fred continues to wonder how someone may have gotten a hold of his credit card number. He decides to look over his statements one more time just to be sure there isn't anything else he needs to report. Fred and Tim head out to do some shopping for an upcoming fishing trip. Fred knows the perfect place to pick up all their fishing supplies. He tells Tim that he just discovered this place and it has a lot of great deals and products. Fred, you aren't kidding. These prices are great. Oh no, I can't believe this. What's the matter, Fred? I thought the fishing pole was a pretty good deal. No, it's not that. Yesterday, I was going over my credit card statement and saw a charge to JFS that I didn't recognize. I called my bank and they filed a dispute on that charge. On this tag, it says JFS, which is Joe's Fishing Shack. JFS is what was on my credit card statement. Why would they use the abbreviation and not the actual name of the store? This is embarrassing. Now I have to call my bank and let them know that I did make that charge. I wish the name of my statement would have been correct. It would have saved me a lot of frustration and time. Fred's transaction with Joe's Fishing Shack was not identified correctly on his statement. Fred did not recognize JFS and caused him to contact his bank to file a dispute claim. MasterCard monitors the data that enters the MasterCard network for accuracy. When a transaction contains inaccurate information, it is flagged and sent to the Data Integrity Monitoring Program. The Data Integrity Monitoring team will work with the institutions to correct the errors that are being flagged. In this scenario, the Data Integrity Monitoring team will work with the institutions to update the merchant name to the name most recognizable to the cardholder. The name JFS would be updated to Joe's Fishing Shack. By ensuring the name is correct, the cardholder will be able to verify their transactions within their statement and not question a purchase when they do not recognize a name. After researching the detail in the Data Integrity Monitoring Program, the Merchant's Bank now has a clear understanding why the merchant must display the correct merchant name, recognizable to the cardholder, in the Merchant Name field on the transaction.
Our case study continues with the merchant bank contacting Joe's Fishing Shack. Thank you for calling Joe's Fishing Shack. How can we help you today? Hello, this is your merchant bank. We received an email regarding non-compliance on some of your transactions. Do you have time to discuss this issue? Yes, we can discuss it now. MasterCard has requirements related to data fields used to describe a transaction. The name you enter in the merchant name field must be the correct merchant name that is recognizable to the cardholder. It looks like your transaction only lists JFS instead of Joe's Fishing Shack. We need to ensure that you are populating the information correctly and that the customer recognizes the name on their statements. Oh, uh, I was not aware we needed to do that. We'll correct it immediately. Please, let us know once you have updated this change to your system. If you have questions or need our assistance in making this update, please let us know. No problem. We'll ensure it's updated and populating correctly. Thank you so much for bringing this to our attention. You're welcome. Thank you for your assistance. The bank follows up with MasterCard to advise that the merchant is making changes to ensure the correct name is being populated in their transactions. Thanks to the Data Integrity Monitoring Program, customers who shop at Joe's Fishing Shack will now recognize the name on their statement. Our case scenario continues with a customer who has been shopping all day and has been using her MasterCard for all her purchases. Good afternoon. Will this be all today? Yes, that is all. I've been shopping all day and this is my final stop. Your total is $345.67. I'm sorry, your card has been declined. Do you have another form of payment? No, I only use MasterCard. It earns rewards. Let me call my bank and find out why my card has been declined. Thank you for calling Bank of MasterCard. How can I help you? Hi, my name is Sue Shopper. I've been shopping all day using my MasterCard. I just tried to make a purchase and it was declined. I'd like to know why. I apologize for the inconvenience. It does appear there is a block on your account to verify some transactions. I just need to verify and ensure they're yours. Do you have a moment to verify them? Yes, I do want to be able to use my MasterCard. Did you make purchases at Ladies Emporium, Glamour Boutique, and Food For Me today? Yes, I did. I told you I've been shopping all day. Why is the card being declined for this purchase? Seems that those transactions all took place in Orlando, Florida. There's one more purchase I need to verify. Did you attempt a charge with Beautiful Princess Parlor in Los Angeles, California? I did try to make a purchase with them. However, I'm not sure why they're showing in Los Angeles. The store I'm in is in Orlando. Thank you for verifying the purchase. We had some concerns with the transactions since your previous transactions are all in Orlando. We just wanted to ensure that someone didn't get a hold of your credit card in attempting a purchase in Los Angeles. I have removed the block on your card and you can continue to make purchases. Sue wonders why the transaction was showing in Los Angeles when she was shopping in Orlando. MasterCard monitors on key data elements within a transaction, such as an invalid or blank country code or postal code. Transactions flow into MasterCard's network where it is validated and ensures that rules in place are being followed for the data elements listed within a transaction. Beautiful Princess Parlor was sending inaccurate transaction information the transaction was sent into MasterCard's network with a Los Angeles postal code. However, the city was Orlando. The Merchants Bank would receive a notification from the Data Integrity Monitoring Program advising them of the error with their transactional data. The bank would then work with the merchant to ensure the data is being transmitted correctly and following MasterCard's rules for a transaction. The Data Integrity Monitoring Team is also available to assist the institution to correct the zip code for this merchant. By correcting this information, it helps the issuer of cards in determining if a transaction being attempted is valid and not attempted fraud. This also helps the customer to continue using their card and not have to contact their bank to determine why transactions are being declined. Whenever a cardholder uses their card for a purchase, the transaction routes to the issuing bank of the card being presented. The bank makes the decision to approve or decline the transaction. Once the transaction has gone through this process, it routes through MasterCard's network. 
In this process, the transaction goes through checks to ensure the transaction data being provided contains accurate information. If the transaction contains inaccurate information, it is flagged by MasterCard Data Integrity Monitoring Program and a notification gets sent to the bank, advising them of errors within their transactions. The bank is able to log into a portal to download the transactions that are being flagged so that they are able to make the necessary corrections to their data. The Data Integrity Monitoring Team is available to assist with any questions or help the bank with corrections to their errors. Monitoring by MasterCard is conducted on a daily basis, verifying thousands of transactions that flow through the MasterCard payment network. As shown in two examples, there are various parts of a transaction that are monitored by the Data Integrity Monitoring Program for accuracy. Thank you for taking the time to learn a little about the Data Integrity Monitoring Program. We hope that you have a better understanding of what MasterCard is doing to help ensure your transactions are being identified correctly and that you continue to enjoy your shopping experience with your MasterCard.